Hello and welcome back to another episode from the show. Today's video, you're going to be checking out two different Dreadomans. And we got this one right here, which is the Dreadoman Wave Plus. And plus, this one right here. This is the Dreadoman Rebel in Toyota, Toyota 10 version of it. You might be asking the most interesting of questions. Which one is the better weather man for you to get? Because both of them are nearly identical in everything. Except the price and a few features. Now I know a lot of photographers and people with everyday carry who prefer this one, the Rebel Rose and Roses, the Letterman Wave Plus. Aside from the actual package, this one comes in much bigger bag than the slim version of this one. What are the benefits of owning the cheaper Renault Man versus the more expensive one. Now, the cheaper one, you cannot actually service this yourself and open this up with a special tool such as this one. You need a tool that is only available with Renault Man. In fact, if you ever need to service this, you have to send it back to the company for EDC use. This one is the superior one. You need to send it back to the company. You can just open this up with a special tool and replace any of those blades on the top if something goes wrong. So definitely this is a big win for the Wave Plus. Two. You see, there is no tools here on the outside. And yet, this is the cheaper with $70 versus the $100 version. By saving a few pennies, or maybe like 20 or 30 bucks, this is definitely better. One hand use. You get all the essentials right out of here. And you don't need to open this up to get everything to be useful. Out of the box, this one also comes well oiled. You know, the tools are easy, one hand open, one finger open. That is, in one hand. On other hand, the rebel, much harder for you to open. It didn't break in yet. The tools are much harder to get out as well, which is also a downside for it. And definitely this is not as friendly user as this one. On the plus side, this is the bottom, the minus side, you see how hard it was to close this. On the plus side, this has right here scale that you can use, like inches and centimeters on one of them. Actually, I think it's all inches. Let's take a closer look. One side is the inches right here. The other side is the centimeters, which is pretty cool. This one has it too. But you gotta open it up in order to get the scale. And it's right here actually. It's hard to see it by the way. Opening this up, we have the same exact tool in both of them. There's no difference between that. In terms of VDC core, this one is in Coyote Brown. You gotta be extra careful when you open and close those. A little bit more dangerous too. For EGC use, this is the better looking one. In terms of weight, it's a bit heavier and more chunky than this one. In fact, you can see, take a look, both of them. This one is slightly more chunkier than that one. 
when it comes to practicality, use in everyday purposes, the Weatherman Wave Plus is much better. On the other hand, if you're an active military service, you go for EDC use and you don't want to get anybody to pay attention to you, do not get this silver version. This is too reflective. This is better for wooded camo, wooden camo kind of environment. More for the desert as well. If you want to save a few pennies, this is definitely the cheaper one. If you want something easier to use, everyday carry access, you can get any of the tools right out with one of your fingers. This one, the wave bus, is definitely the right one for you. So yes, you're going to be saving a little bit more cash, but the Rebel is the cheaper tool here. It gives you a lot of cool tools, all easily accessed with one hand. But the downside of it is too much. Not only the tools don't get out as easily and you have to be careful. So between both of those, which one is the winner and which one is the loser, it's really hard to say. First off, because they're made by the same exact company. And second, because there are so many things that are good and bad about both of them, but specifically the bad and when it comes to saving money. Some people, that's the most important part. So first off, you get a small slim bag over here. This one is much more bigger. In terms of money, this one is much more expensive. This is much more cheaper. So if you're going to be putting this in a place where somebody might steal it, better steal the cheaper one than the more expensive multi-tool. And especially the one that flashes, such as the Wave Plus. Of course, you can get this in all black, and this would not be an issue. Also, in terms of the actual tools, if money is not a problem and it's not an issue, I would definitely err on the side of the Wave Plus. Not only it is much more easier for you to operate, open and close and get all the multi tools out of here, it's also more practical. But there is process for this one as well. For example, if you need to cut things out and then easily access your knives and other features over here, this one gives you this opportunity to only get them out when you have the pliers out. This is an added bonus for some active outdoor sportsmen. On the other hand, this one you could just get the pliers out and that's it. When you get the pliers out, if you need any other of the tools, they're all hard for you to access and you have to close this up, which actually is a plus and minus all by itself. The plus side, you can get any of the tools out and use them and you get more grip for you to use and you don't have this bulkiness of this being right out. For example, you need one of those knives out. Well, you need to close this up. So it's an extra, extra steps that you have to use. This is definitely the more extensive, and I mean extensive, you have to put a lot more time into opening, closing, and get all those tools out. And also, you have to be extremely careful with this one, because any of those tools don't get out very easily, and you can cut yourself as you're getting something out of here. So you have to be very careful what you're doing here until this gets loosened up. On the other hand, the Redman Wave Plus is much more user-friendly. Every one of those tools is more easily for you to close with your finger. Very easy. Every one of them have their own trap for you to close it up. You just press over here and it easily opens and closes. Yes, you're saving a little bit money when it comes to getting to this one. But when it comes to safety and everything else, this one, first is the price. Yes, it is much cheaper. 
you can see opening it up it's much more harder than to open and close putting it back together you have to press this right here which is much harder to press as over here when you press on it you have to put a lot of force and then it's not even enough you have to put more force now if you can close and you have to be super careful when you do this it's hard to get in and out and out in here so overall I think by a wide margin, the Wave Plus or Toyo pay a little bit more cash for it. It is worth it for you. And if you never got the Rebel, stay away from this too. It is outright dangerous. I don't like it. And out of the box, all by itself, I would say it's junk. Get the Wave Plus, save yourself money, hassle, and possibly a trip to the emergency room. Because this one is just the better tool. Cheaper? No. More expensive? Yes. Better? Yes. Worth it? Yes. Daphne is a yes in my book. This one gets a 9.5 out of 10. On the other hand, the original Rebel, I would say this is a 7. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below which one you're going to be getting for yourself and why. Thank you.